This month, the CDC issued new guidance on managing insertion pain for the popular contraception IUDs. It's something one doctor's office here in Denver has advocated for for years. And something women have been asking for as well. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta with the latest on what's being done to reduce the risk and the pain for some women. This procedure room inside Advent Health Porter has been a saving grace for many patients. And the experience was even better than I thought. Patients like Micah Alexander, who remembers both her IUD procedures clearly the first five years ago. So they didn't guide me on pain management at all. I just showed up and it was one of the worst experiences of my life, like one of the most painful afterwards. I couldn't walk on my own. But her more recent IUD with Dr. Olga Muldoon, completely different thanks to anesthesia and a conversation on what to expect. Our office is committed to giving an option to any patient in terms of what's right for them. So if that's that they need a narcotic or uh, an, an anti-nausea or an anti-pain medication beforehand, we're offering that. It's on par with new guidance from the CDC, which says patients should be counseled on pain before the procedure. I want them to feel safe and comfortable. It's something Dr. Muldoon and other gynecologists in her office have been practicing for years. And I honestly think this should be the standard of care across the United States. We should be able to offer this uh, to the appropriate patient. Care, guidance, and preparation patients like Alexander are grateful for, so others don't experience the pain and anxiety they once did. I'm really grateful that I had this experience with her. In Denver, Veronica Acosta, Denver 7.